All right. Okay. So this is going to be a video tutorial on what to do if you feel like you can't control. Maybe you've taken a break um, from the game. Maybe you've been playing another game, um, another first person shooter, or maybe you're just having a bad day, bad week, or maybe you just want to top up your skill and get back into the swing of things or increase your mastery. Um, so uh, there's two things you've got to do in order to get used to the spray patterns again. First thing is you got to get the map recoil master, which will there will be links to in the description below and probably annotations too. I'm talking to YouTube by the way. <laughs> um, like annotation somewhere. If there is an annotation, it will be right down there. Okay. Um, and you can get that map off the workshop. All you got to do is load it up. Uh, you want to run to the front, put on a T target, turn off the ghost hair, unless this is your very first time like learning the spray pattern, in which case you can use the ghost hair. All the ghost hair does is it shows you where your bullets, um, where you sh like, it gives you a rough idea of um, what, like, what you should do with your mouse, like where you should be aiming um, as you shoot, as you can see. Uh, if, if, as, if you roughly follow, if you roughly follow the green thing, you, you'll hit most of the bullets but i'm not going to use the ghost there here i'm just going to put on a single target um put my movement lock on um and then spray 30 bullets and check what my initial like first thing you do is you spray 30 bullets a bunch of times uh i'm going to turn my volume down so you Though it is helpful to, to have the sound, I feel like my spray control is a lot better when I have the sound than if I like um, I'm listening to music exclusively. So that I recommend using the sound a little bit. And I don't know if you've noticed, but down here in the chat in the bottom left and in the center of the screen, it's told me how many shots I've fired and how many shots I've hit. Um, and that percentage has been going up. And when that percentage gets above 90%, then I will switch guns. Um, because it means that I know the, the, the basic shape of that um, of that weapon. So I'm going to use the AK. I've done, I've done the AK. I'm going to quickly do the M4A4. Uh, put the movement lock back on. Put reset on. Try and get those. Um, actually, there's three things you've got to do. Uh, try and get that percentage above eight, uh, 90%. So at the moment, it's at 86%. It's already a lot better than it was before. And I'm getting above 90% again. So I'm now I'm feeling comfortable on both the AK and the uh, M4. Just basic comfort. Uh, you can do the M4A4 as well. Though it's a pretty easy weapon to hit. Um, most of the bullets on. Uh, yeah, so there you go. 95%. So I, I missed one bullet, I think. Um, and finally, I would recommend the UMP. is quite important to learn in today's meta. Uh, I'd say the UMP is the only other gun... You, the guns nowadays you should be using in CS, in my opinion, are the UMP. Well, obviously, uh, pistol round, you want to use like the Glock or the uh, the USP, unless like this like, specific strat. Um, save rounds, you want to use a P250. Um, on CT side, you use a 5.7 pretty much any time you can't afford any other weapon. Uh, T side, Tech 9's the beast weapon. Um, sometimes uh, Deagle can be fun on both sides, you know, but that's just like a niche play. That's like a surprise play. Other than that, um, uh, UMP is like the only other important weapon. O obviously, like I use Scott shotguns and whatnot a lot. So don't don't feel like uh, don't don't get the wrong idea that I'm saying oh don't ever use anything but this weapon. But it's important that you do uh, learn the UMP. It's it's so important to this matter. It's it's such an overpowered weapon. Um, and I actually don't know the spray pattern that well, so I need to learn it myself. So this is also an example of um, how you would learn the spray pattern from the, the beginning. You get that ghost there up. Um, you get the movement lock up, and I know I'm being really anal about this uh, re reloading, and I'm sorry about that. And you, what you just try and trace it once figure out what it wants you to do so it's actually quite simple you just need to pull down a lot and I think at the end okay so you pull down a lot to the right and then at, at the end you just go left a tiny bit so 
that put down a lot to the right and then go left a tiny bit. Cool. Um, once you've got uh, that down, if, well, if you find yourself not being able to get above like 90% all the time, you can use the bullet time. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to try and get above 90%. 100%. Okay, there you go. I don't need to use the bullet time. Anyway, um, okay, the next thing you want to learn, uh, the second thing you do is you you, own, you load up a map, which will also be in the description or annotated down below, um, which is called Aimbots, which is also used for the How to Counter Strafe video. Um, and what you're going to do, oh no, you're not, you're not going to use Aimbots. Sorry, that's. Uh, no, we're gonna use um, a map called Fast Fast Aim Reflex Training. So to get that up, guys, what you need, what well, you go to the workshop, and I'm gonna do offline with bots workshop, Fast Aim Reflex Training. can't spray you're bad at spraying you tap yeah me too me too but it's important it's an important skill to have um anyway let me continue so you want to load up the map and start off i think you have to, no you should start off on the ct side uh, cool. um you want to put infinite health on and infinite ammo on. I don't know. You uh, you want SV infinite ammo two on. Reason being is you have unlimited ammo, but you have to reload after thirty bullets, so it stops you from being an idiot with your recoil. Basically, it forces you to like conserve your bullets. Um, then you have a comfortable amount of bots for you. I comfortable for me is about four to six. So um, I'm going to put six on right here and you're just going to let these guys run around and um, you're going to focus on uh, spray transfers from one opponent. You're going to like try and focus on uh, killing one person and then sp uh, sp spray transferring to the second and, and possibly to a third. So you, you kind of like you don't kill the first person you see like I'm not going to kill him straight away. What you do is you kind of like you wait until you see two people on screen kind of like that and then you, you try and transfer between the two. Um, and you just do this over and over and over again. And if you do that, like, it's really good. Warp For some reason, if I do this, my orping becomes a lot better too. I don't know why. Um, I think it's, it's something... It really does, like... I think Bruce says it too. Like, it really gets you in the the, the, the right mindset for, like... You know, it's, it's taking engagements. Um, like, yeah. Spray transfers like that, basically get like comfortable with um, all the weapons make sure that you can you know transfer your spray try and see how many people you can kill in one spray basically and then once you've done it with the AK you just do, do it with like the M4 and you're probably Gucci after that like spray transfers is not that important with the uh, UMP you just with the UMP I just like fucking pull down really hard and pray um, but yeah, with an M4A4, do the same thing. And um, sorry, that was just the primer. Okay. Cool. See, that was a really bad spray, spray transfer. It works in the end. But yeah, what you want to do is just kind of like start getting conscious of like you know, how you should be spraying and how how where you should you be aiming, not just. At the target, when with the guys, the target you have in front of you, but also the target you have to your side. Anyway, that's a good way of um, feeling refreshed and get like basically re revising, studying the recoil, getting used to the recoil. Whether or not that's a refresher for you or if it's for the first time, those are two steps that you can use to improve your recoil control today. I hope that was helpful.